Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkol Rafi once again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can speed up your WordPress website or blog site. So here I have got this pretty simple looking blog site, which is using a light theme. But still, if I show you the performance, I'm going to copy and if I reload GT Matrix here, then paste the domain name here, then test your site. It is going to generate a report for our WordPress website's performance and while it is loading the results I'm going to show you what are the plugins I have got installed on my uh, WordPress website so here from plugins installed plugins and here is the list of installed plugins which I am using for various purposes so <clears throat> now here as of now we have got 83 percent of performance of the website which is really great the structure of the website as i have mentioned i am using a light theme named nav if you are interested i'm going to attach the link of this theme into the video description and then if i show you the loading speed here okay so one issue i'm seeing properly uh sites image so we could actually save some sites from here all right and these are very low uh things and if you just notice here to load whole page and all the functionalities on the web page it takes around 4.1 seconds as of now and total page size is only 1.26 megabytes and the image size are 559 javascript 411 so here i'm seeing some really big number of javascript files so uh, and as you can see here uh, request 28% from JavaScript for JavaScript, 28% for um, image. So now I'm going to minify this request to see if I can increase the loading speed here. So let's just go back into our WordPress dashboard and then I'm going to add a plugin by clicking on add new. And after that, I'm going to install the plugin or to upload the plugin, which is WP Rocket. So here it is. Let's click on open and click on install so this is a paid plugin for your information um, but you can actually use some other free plugins like um, uh, let me show you some of the free cache plugins wordpress you are going to find many uh, plugins there uh, let me show you Okay, so WP Rocket, which is now I'm going to use this one, W3 Total Cache, WP Super Cache, and I've used both of these, W3 Super Cache and W3 Total Cache, but I didn't use them. So you can use one of them. These are really great as well. But now the purpose of this video to show you um, how to use WP Rocket to speed up your web, web, WordPress website. So here I have got installed, the plugin installed. Now let's click on activate the plugin. and if you just notice here we have got wp rocket added so now let's click on setting and after that let's go to here on cache and from mobile cache enable caching for mobile devices let's keep it selected enable caching for logged in wordpress users and then we don't have to work anything here go to file optimization and here we have to do some work as you can see minify css file it is going to remove white spaces like the blank spaces and comments to reduce the file size of your css so let's click on minify css files let's click on activate minify css it might going to break your website okay so make sure that after activating if you are seeing any issue with your website simply deactivate this thing it is going to work fine again all right so now let's say combine CSS file, enable MES file to select. As you can see here, it is going to help us as well to um, reduce the request. So let's click on combine CSS files. Let's click on activate combine CSS files. And then go to JavaScript files, minify JavaScript files. We want all the JavaScript files to be minified as well. Let's click on activate. Then we are going to combine JavaScript files too. All right. And here we don't have to do anything in this page more so let's go back here to media so here is the option for lazy load enable for image enable for iframes and videos 
so i'm going to replace youtube iframes with preview image so if i have got any youtube thing youtube video embedded on my wordpress website the the thumbnail will be generated automatically instead of the whole video so it will help me get fast loading speed on my website and then add missing image dimensions and disable wordpress embeds no obviously not we don't have to work on this and let's keep them as they are let's go to preload and activate preload as you can see so activate sitemap based cache preload and oh, actually i don't have to work on this then enable link preloading that's totally fine and we don't have to work anything here advanced rules all right so we are almost done we have to we don't have to work on any other things here all right so cdn we don't have to work on this as well heartbeat no nothing here and add-ons we don't need to work on these things as well it's totally fine to keep them as there but let's go to image optimization here all right so in this case as you can see here it is showing me properly size image so i'm going to um, minify image by imageify so i'm going to click on install imageify oops i didn't save the settings so first of all let me go back to cache and let's click on save and let's see the cache whatever I, I did if they are selected or not yeah everything selected now from image optimization i have to install this imageify um, plugin as well so i've just clicked on install imageify So basically it is going to reduce the image size as you can see here some uh, issues so it is going to reduce the image size and it will help us get our website boosted as well. So welcome to Imageify, we have to sign up it's free so I'm going to uh, enter my email address. Click on sign up. All right, so please check your mailbox. You are going to receive an email with API key. So I need the email. And here we go. So to start optimize your image, here's the API key. So I've just copied and then I have my API key. Paste it here, click on connect me. And here we go, the API is activated. Now it's time to click on go to settings and we have got the settings auto optimize image on upload backup original on image so it will keep the backup of the original size of your image and by this option automatically it is going to optimize our image which are um, available on our wordpress website so basically i don't have to do much thing here so display image in webp format on the site no um resize larger image mm. yeah so here you can see uh, thumbnail images are these so whenever it is going to take place based on the placement of the image sites okay so now it's simply we just have to click on save changes and all looks good here actually so now if i visit our web page from here just take a look we have got our ads and everything working perfectly so the website hasn't yet broken so now let's click on learners.world it happens so rarely now i'm going to open gt matrix here in a new tab and let's paste the url here test your site and we're going to see the difference here okay so you might not going to see much um much progress here in this report uh, but we are going to see some progress here on this page loading so let's just wait for the results so it's just generating okay analyzing with lighthouse generating the report and just take a look actually i am seeing some um, performance improvement 83 percent to 89 percent 87 percent to 88 percent all right and 1.8 to 1.6 which is the greatest largest contentful paint numbers and well, okay so i have got this eliminate render blocking resource and we have got if you just notice uh, 323 kib was the previous um previous data but if i show you here it is 153 almost 100 uh, percent has been or actually 50 percent has been eliminated and then if we see eliminate render blocking resources it was saving 280 ms 
and now it's just increased to 310 ms that's totally fine no problem and if you just notice here on the loading time speed 1.8 second fully loaded time from 4.1 second just imagine we have just installed two plugins wp rocket i'm going to attach the link into the video description and we have added the imageify or let me show you this one yeah imageify plugin and just take a look for 4.1 seconds of fully loaded time we have got 1.8 seconds of loading time so this was the simple simple process and if you just notice here image 58.3 percent now and javascript is only 16.7 as we have minified these files so this is the result of optimizing your wordpress website or blog site so i believe you have found this video helpful if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and subscribe to my channel to get more videos on wordpress website elemental tutorials and basically i'm going to uh, upload videos about web development in future so i believe you have already liked this video you have subscribed to my channel if you don't or haven't yet please subscribe now thank you so much for watching this video and i have to see you in the next one